we're receiving reports. We've seen this on social media. I have to say it has yet to be confirmed, um, but from some pretty good sources, it has to be said that uh, Salah Hamouri uh, is is facing imminent deportation. And, uh, and if these reports are to be stood up and believed, he is going to be deported extraordinarily for apparently not showing allegiance to the state of Israel. Um, Andrew, with all the caveats, um, if this is the case, is this a first? Just as far as I know, Mark, and I've been following this issue for quite a long time, Israel has deported Palestinians in the past. It's been a fairly regular practice. Uh, you may remember that back in the 1990s, it deported hundreds of them, even thousands at a time, to Lebanon uh, of people who were, in effect, political prisoners, some of whom had been fighting against the occupation, but nevertheless, uh, they were political prisoners. But I cannot recall a case of a human rights defender, someone who is monitoring human rights and whose duty it is to be able to report what he or she sees uh, being deported in this way. I think it's a quite shocking precedent. Again, if, if, if it does prove to be the case that he is being deported and for these reasons, uh, could this conceivably play into the agenda um, that has been been encouraged by some uh, in Israel to extend this uh, this uh, policy of deportations to all those who don't show allegiance to the state of Israel? Well, that, that phrase, lack of allegiance to the state of Israel, is of course associated with the Jewish Power Party, which uh, is now going to be almost certainly part of the new coalition government. And that is a very worrying development that they're already starting, even though they're not yet in office yet. Um, but the attacks on human rights defenders did not begin now. Uh, they've been going on for some time. I'm sure that you've um, been reporting on your own show the designation of six Palestinian human rights organizations as being linked to terrorism and all that uh, has flowed from that um, in terms of trying to stifle their activities.